Israeli strikes on southern Gaza are being blamed for the deaths of 18 people overnight, 14 of them children. But the strikes on the city of Rafah are in line with Israel's vow to expand ground fighting in the region. More than half of Gaza's 2.3 million people have sought refuge from the war there. The U.S. is among countries calling on restraint from Israel. American lawmakers are still working to pass a bill that includes a $9 billion, uh, $9 billion it is, in humanitarian aid for Gaza. The Senate is expected to take up that bill this week. Just over 60 miles north of that attack is Jerusalem, one of the holiest places in the world. But tensions are also rising there after Iran's drone and missile attack last week. WCCO photojournalist Tom Avilas was in Jerusalem during the recent attacks and met Palestinian tour guide and former Twin City chef Baja Maswa. He opened up about the escalating violence in this sacred region. We are in Jerusalem. It's a holy land, it's a city of God, and a lot of tourists uh, you know, like to be here and during the holidays. If it's Jewish or Muslim or Christian, they all come here to worship God. I work a uh, tour guide, and in America, I was a chef. Tell me a little bit about the food and the place. This was in Nicollet Mountain, or seven. I used to sell uh, Middle Eastern food, number one, falafel and hummus in the Twin Cities. I left Minneapolis, I uh, used to live in Edina. Then I moved to Jerusalem in 98. By attacking us, they've made a mistake of historic proportions. Because of the situation of Gaza Strip, uh, the war, it's affected not just in Jerusalem, it's all over the West Bank. It's just uh, very slow. You have not too many tourists coming in. People here just trying to go by to live day by day. We're actively working for peace, security, dignity for the Israeli people and the Palestinian people. They do say that it's both sides that are causing these issues. It's not both sides, it's occupation. Everybody looking for freedom. United States fight for freedom. Palestinians fighting for freedom. The problem is the occupation. If the occupation ends, there is no trouble with Israel or Palestinians. They all can live in peace, side by side, two-state solution. If there is no two-state solution, it will stay forever like this. Baja condemns the violence and hopes to live long enough to see peace in the city he loves.